Geminids Meteor Shower is here. Meteor Shower is really interesting and people love it because it's a free show from the space. Now, to understand what Meteor Shower is, you need to know what meteors are. And to know what meteors are, you need to know what comet is because meteors happen due to comets. All right, so what happens during a meteor shower? Particles from the space enter the atmosphere of the Earth, they burn and then you can see them as streaks of light. Now, what does a comet have to do in a meteor shower? Let me tell you. So imagine if this is the sun, and this is a comet. I didn't get anything else, so I'm using a battery. It's not exactly the shape of a comet. So if a comet is coming from far away, because comets come from really far away, like around a light year away. So comets, when they come from far away and take an orbit around the sun, they start evaporating because they're really icy bodies and they leave a lot of substances in the space where they passed by. So it's like a path that they leave behind. So they will come, they'll take a very sharp elliptical orbit and they will go far away and they'll come back after years because that's how quick they go and the elliptical orbit is really, really eccentric. So once the comet is gone, all that's left behind is just particles in the space. So as you know, the Earth goes around the Sun. So when the Earth enters that path of the comet that already left, these particles enter the atmosphere of the Earth. And when these particles enter, they enter at a very high speed. Germans, for example, they enter at around 127,000 kilometers an hour. That's a very high speed for particles. So when these particles enter the atmosphere of the Earth, naturally due to the friction from the atmosphere, these will burn. And that's why you see them as a streak of light that finishes off really quick. That's why you need to pay attention to the sky because you might miss a lot of meteors because they just finish in a second. So why do these meteor showers happen during specific times of the year? That's because the Earth, when it moves around the sun it moves by areas that do not have substances left by the comet and that's where we don't have a meteor shower but when it comes to areas where there are substances left that's when the meteor showers happen for example in august we have Perseids. in uh, december we have geminids so the number of meteors you can see during geminids it's said to be around 120 meteors don't expect it to be exactly 120 it can be more it can be less sometimes you might even just see 10 or 20 so don't be disappointed and the common questions i receive during meteor showers is do i need a telescope to watch the meteors meteors are really quick and they happen at random areas in the sky so you don't have enough time to point your telescope towards a specific area to watch the meteor shower even if you do you will just see a streak of light which can be seen with the unaided eye so you don't really need a telescope another question is where do i go to see the meteor shower can i be in the city to watch it can i be at my home can i be in the terrace of my building well if you're in the city the chances of you seeing more meteor showers is less because there's so much light pollution in the city you don't really see uh, those tiny meteors but there are a few meteors that are big that takes more than one second to burn those can be seen as very bright streaks of light and they last longer in the sky and sometimes they do have colors but the chances of that happening is very rare so watching the meteor shower from a far away place will be a better idea so this time it's very special and you can see more because there's not gonna be a full moon or even a quarter moon it's gonna be a new moon so the benefit of a new moon during a meteor shower is that the new moon does not really emit a lot of light so there's gonna be less light pollution even from the moon so you'll have a darker sky and you'll be able to see more meteors and the third question is can I photograph the meteors so if you have a camera that can be kept on a tripod and it can be kept on long exposure just keep the camera on and if you're lucky you might catch a meteor so you have to keep the shutter of the camera open and if the meteor passes in that area of the sky where you point at the camera then you're lucky and you'll get a shot and the fourth question is if there is a specific time to watch it so the peak of the meteor shower lasts for about six to seven hours so if you're in the UAE the best time to watch the meteor shower will be on the 30th of December from 10 p.m. all the way to 3 a.m. early morning of the 14th of December and that's all about the Geminids meteor shower I hope you guys go and watch it because it's a really nice space phenomenon that you can watch without even having any uh, tools or equipment on computers or telescopes thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.